Hi Gemini, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I hope you had a beautiful um, Valentine's Day and I hope your dreams came true. Well, I hope this week is going to be even more awesome for you. I'm using the Enchanted Dream Tarot and the Archangel Metatron Tarot and the uh, Angel Feather Oracle Deck. This is the reading for the 17th to the 23rd of uh, February 2020 and um, I'm using the cards for the week and the overall energy and an extra oracle card. Um, your, uh, your stone, your birthstone Gemini, I've forgotten it for some months but I can't go back and edit it now because they're already uploaded. I forgot for I think Taurus but um, your uh, stone is um, Moonstone and uh, um, Alexandrite, Alexandrite and Pearl. Okay, so now you know that. Um, you can use those stones as well. I will give you more stones with regards to the Angel Feather um, card and then you can see whether the stones do uh, come forth with the uh, the Alexandria Knight or the Moonstone or Pearl come into your Angel Feather card. But you've got a couple of extra stones. Some cards have 10 stones and the others just have one or two. So here we go. First of all, we uh, if you're new, welcome to the channel, Charlie's Angel Tarot. And please hit that subscribe button and the bell, then you'll be notified because um, a lot of readers and I are warning the viewers to make sure that they're subscribed because the old system from YouTube is throwing people off channels and deleting them from their favorite readers channel or where they are a membership from. So please remember, subscribe, just make sure. And if you would like to come to the live tonight and become a cyber babe and receive a free card or two, three, then do so, you're more than welcome. And then you'll be a cyber angel as well. You'll get your wings and it's awesome in the cyber family. Uh, we, we are really one. Solidarity is there. Together we stand strong and we, I love all my cyber angels and welcome to you too my faithful followers and I'm grateful for you being here and Jimmy Jim Jims you know I'm a Gemini but I still do the readings as honestly as they come out um, although sometimes I cringe and then oh no but I have to do keep my um, uh, my feelings pure and 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 honest. That's what I stand for a typical Gemini Okay, so let's begin you can find oh sorry before I begin um, Look up into the screen uh, In the right hand corner there you will find a little eye and if you click on that then you can go straight back uh, Straight through to my website. I've kept my promise I, I always do, even if it takes time, I keep get my promise. So the uh, website is up and running. Go and have a look on the di different readings that are on offer. But if you've got a special question, then come into the live and give us a super chat or a super sticker. And I'll give you a three card reading with an oracle card and that can answer your question perhaps. And uh, I'll tell you honestly, if you if I advise you to get a, an in-depth reading, it all depends on the question. Okay, for the first card, you have the Seven of Pentacles. What you sow, you shall reap, Gemini. So make sure you are pure in heart and only sow the best and goodness and love. Okay, um, so that it can come back to you threefold. It might take some time to um, come to fruition as a seed needs to, um, um, how, do you, how do you say that? It propagates, uh, come out of its little shell and push itself way through the ground and so that he's strong and healthy enough to grow to 
adulthood and it will take time but springtime is here so it will be coming out very quickly and if you know what you have sown then you know what you're going to reap okay and you have 18 18 is a nine and the Metatron card is Mother Earth growing and support. There you are. It needs to grow and you need to support something. Perhaps um, you've got a question or an issue and or you've just got a new start. Well, you're definitely going to have a new start because this is 18 and you have already sown the seeds. So you are going to read because the end is here, so that means the beginning is here as well. And Mother Earth has been taking care of your seeds. That would be the Empress. Okay, so grounding is definitely necessary this week, Monday, and definitely throughout the week, I think. And you might need more support or give more support to what you have sown. You also have the Seven of Wands, so you might have to stand your ground in order to get what you want. So if you want a new job or if you've had a new idea, Gemini, because you are from the communicators and the ideas and clarity and justice. So if you um, are in a judicial situation, you uh, have sown the seeds, you started the case, okay? and you might have to defend yourself to get to bring out the clarity you can do that you've got both feet on the ground so don't worry the truth will always come out then you have a dimensional gateway an invitation 33 the angels are with you and you are going back into balance number six okie dokie and you are you are being an offered a new beginning. Like I said, you've planted the seeds and it needs to grow. So they're going to sprout this week and most probably in the middle of the week. So you will get clarification after your hard work and your defense. On Friday, we have the death card. I will show you these cards. I did show you that card and I will show you this one. You can see it a bit clearer. These cards are in all of the feminine side in us all, men, all women, and also uh, highlighting the woman, that loving, nurturing, and passionate, and sensual, and sexy. I love her. It looks like if she's wearing a jumpsuit because of the fire, the, the wand that's in front of her, but she's wearing uh, a a beautiful blue dress okay so um, an invitation you will receive an invitation perhaps for this new beginning definitely you are in transformation or transmission as you have the death okay it's not a real death it is only a matter for um, because I don't see any other negative cards around you so um, there you are no longer the caterpillar, you're going forth as the butterfly. Wow. Perhaps a new love, because in this deck we've also got a rose. There are endings, you are helped. Nine, nine, isn't, you've got a lot of nines in this deck. One here, one there. Um, you've got one here. So, you are going from the seven to uh, the nine, so you'll jump and an eight and then nine. Okay, so there's a lot of endings and the new beginnings. So you are held, you are held in protection, and it says endings also a nine. Then we have the nine of pentacles. Perhaps you might be getting money this week. Perhaps you had a judicial situation and now the clear, uh, honesty and justice has been done. You might be getting money. Okay. Like I said, you're going into a better period. Uh, you're going into a voluptuous, rich, um, luxury period. 
so you can take it a little bit easier. Then we have here a beacon, shine on. Yes, be the beacon, be the beacon of truth. Be, show that you are shining. Get recognition, get recognition. Eight is the powerhouse, so there's also the money house. You are in your strength. There might be something uh, spiritual as well floating around you. I get the feeling and emotional release. That is what I'm hearing. So you can have this release and shine like a beacon. And all over energy is the three of pentacles. Perhaps you might start a new study, but you have definitely got recognition. You're no longer the apprentice. You are the expert. Look at this. Again, a new beginning. There might be a job offer for you. That pays much better than the last job or work you had. Then you've got the um, innate creative talents Crimson Angel uh, Feather. The angels are here to reinforce to you that you have natural creative talents and skills which need to be unleashed and to further your development. That's what I said. You might start a new study. So you need to release, release the old and be the beacon. Shine. Be the spotlight. Wow. That is absolutely gorgeous, Gem Gems. And the angels with your crimson uh, angel feather are, of course, most probably Uriel. Let's have a look. It's yes, because a crimson is red, and Uriel is the angel of the grounding chakra. Okay, you are grounding both feet on the ground, like here, strong and balanced. Then you've also got Archangel Jovial bringing you joy. He's also the angel of innate creative talents. And Archangel Sandalphon, angel of music, he will play you a song. And you might be playing a song or two to celebrate. I tell you, I feel you're going to celebrate this week. If last week wasn't such a fantastic week, then this week will definitely be a good week. Now, the um, crystals that you can use this week to wear are ruby, garnet, synthite, and iron quartz. Okay, so... I can't, nobody can afford a ruby, and they were, a garnet was really sought after after the war, and in the 50, 70, 80 years, because I used to work in a jeweler shop, and people always used to go for garnet. That's the cheaper version, really, uh, for a lot of people than a ruby. So if you haven't got a ruby, go and have a scout around in the health shop for garnet. Here in Holland, we've got health shops, and then they've got little packages where you can get little crystals. Okay. So use garnet, all moonstone, your birthstone, pearl, or Alexandria night. Right. Okay. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this reading, Jimmy Jim Gems, and wow, you're a tough cookie. I know that. And good luck, because you're getting into a better phase. Wow, life is improving. Take care. Let us know what, where your life is improving. In your relationship, or at home, or at work, or with a hobby that you do with lots of others. I would be interested in what you are doing. Take care, and I love you all, and I'll see you in the life. And if not... See you in the next video. Please share and like and give us the thumbs up.